Welcome to video seven, how to configure your IVR auto attendant uh, company greeting on your Yaystar S-Series phone system. Hi, I'm Dara Zook, Senior Trainer, and this is video seven, where we'll have a look at how you configure your IVR auto attendant company greeting on your Yaystar S-Series phone system. So we're going to have a look at the, uh, the actual IVR functionality where you actually build your menus, uh, how to customize a, a prompt, how to record a prompt, and then we're going to get into ring groups uh, as well. Uh, now before we do that, uh, I'm going to mention our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Helia Canada. Now as we uh, add more videos and training content, you'll be notified of that uh, content being added after you subscribe. So please subscribe. Also, we've got a coupon for you at the end of this video for our online store, buyphonesonline.ca. So we've got all things VoIP on there. Uh, network switches that we recommend, uh, routers, we even have uh, solar towers so you can put a VoIP phone in the middle of a field if you want and it's still powered by the, the sun. So lots of great things on there. Now without further ado, let's jump in and see what this is all about. So with IVR, uh, we need to go to our settings. IVR is interactive voice response. It's also known as company greeting or auto attendant. Uh, and we're going to go to our call features. So you can add as many uh, auto attendants as you would, uh, you would like. It's really defined by how much uh, memory uh, on the uh, device. So uh, let's edit this. And this is the default IVR at 6500. Uh, now, we're going to come back and set this up, but we're going to go through a couple features really quick. So we've got an extension number for this. This is how we route calls uh, to the auto attendant. Uh, the name, this would be normally uh, uh, main uh, greeting. And then the prompt, which we haven't recorded yet, uh, the number of uh, times that greeting is going to be re uh, replayed if there is uh, no numbers pressed, uh, what happens at the end of the message, how long it's going to wait, in this case three seconds, and then um, how, how long it's going to wait after you press a key on your phone uh, for it to wait for yet another key. Whether you can dial extensions out, and then these here, dial outbound routes, that's a bad idea. That uh, uh, leaves your system open to, to hacking. So we really want to keep this uh, turned off, and then to check voicemail, uh, that's definitely, definitely an option you have. Now, um, uh, your greeting will typically be something like, thank you for calling Helia for service press one, for sales press two, for accounting press three. And the way we set up those options is in this key press event. So you can say uh, for uh, one, go to extension 1000, for two, for sales, go to extension 1001, and for three, accounting, uh, go to extension 1002. Okay, so step uh, step number two, we need to uh, record a voice prompt. And now to do that, we're going to click on voice prompts here. We're going to go up to custom prompts, and then we're going to record a new prompt. So this is going to be our main uh, greeting. It's a good idea to uh, write this down prior to uh, actually doing the recording. Now I've chosen extension 1000, which means extension 1000 is going to ring and that's where we're gonna record the prompt from. So you can hear the extension ringing here. Uh, I'm gonna press the speaker phone. Now this is best not to record from a uh, speaker phone. Thank you for calling Helia. If you know the extension of the person you'd like to reach, please enter it now. Please press 1 for service, press 2 for sales, or press 3 for accounting. Okay, so the greeting has been saved. Uh, we don't see it here. We're going to go back to the menu. And where is our greeting? Let's reload this here. OK, 
okay so we did need to wait a moment and then we did need to uh, uh, reload the page and so here we can re-record the greeting we can play it uh, download it as a file or delete it uh, now uh, in our case, being that we have this greeting uploaded, uh, we can now attach it to our auto attendant. Uh, there is also an upload button, so you can have your greetings professionally recorded and then use this upload button in these particular formats to add them here, and then they become available for your auto attendant. So let's go back to our call features, and we're going to go back to our IVR and edit this. And now for our prompts, we will have the main greeting that we uh, just created. Another important feature of phone systems are our ring groups. And so we'll find ring groups under call features and along the top here. Now there is a ring group already created. Uh, when you want multiple calls to uh, multiple phones to ring at the same time uh, you would use a ring group so an example of that is um, the recommended inbound call flow uh, for a business is someone calls your phone number and when they call that number multiple phones in the office maybe all the phones in the office ring uh, to make sure that somebody's going to answer that customer and if no one does answer then it goes to the ivr auto attendant and says thank you for calling helia if you know the extension please enter it now or wait to leave a uh, message in your general voicemail box so uh in order to get all the phones to ring uh we would go in here uh, and we can select the phones that will ring. Now, 60 seconds is far too long. Uh, we usually go with 15 to 20 seconds. And then after uh, the 20 seconds, if someone has not answered, uh, we need to go somewhere else. And that's normally the auto attendant. So what's going to happen here now is um, we're going to call this ring all. Uh, and so when someone goes to this ring group, it will ring all these extensions for 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, it will redirect that call to the main greeting. Now, the second part of this is, uh, is directing calls over to this extension. So that happens in a place like our inbound routes. We can say that when someone uses this VoIP trunk with this phone number, and if we, as we scroll down, we can say the destination for this uh, VoIP trunk and this um, phone number is to a ring group. And so we select that ring all ring group that we, um, uh, we just set up. And so what happens now when someone calls this number, it's going to go to our ring all group. It's going to ring for 20 seconds, all phones. After 20 seconds, it will go to the auto attendant. Thank you for calling. And then after the auto attendant, it's in our case, it's going to repeat three times and then it's going to hang up the call. You can get as complicated um, as, as you'd like uh, with these call flows. It's always best to keep it as simple as, uh, as possible. Uh, it leads to less uh, support issues in the long term as people don't understand why um, all inbound calls are not operating the same way. So that was video seven, uh, how to configure the IVR auto attendant company greeting on your Yaystar S-Series phone system. Now in video eight, we'll look at how to configure call parking and why to use it with your Yaystar S-Series phone system. You'll find video eight on our YouTube channel and that's at youtube.com slash Helia Canada. Now please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate your subscription and as we add more content, you'll be notified when that uh, content arrives on our channel. Now, in addition to that, if you prefer classroom training, we do offer that in, in Canada for, uh, for Yaystar certification. So check us out online at heliavoice.ca. You'll have course dates and the syllabuses and uh, more information about those classes. Now, we also have an online store that you'll find at buyphonesonline.ca. There's going to be a coupon at the end of the video. 
Oh, <laughs> pardon me. And um, uh, yeah, we've got just a, a, such a broad range of uh, VoIP uh, equipment, things that we use in a typically typical installation, and things that we recommend. I'm Darzu, senior trainer. Thanks for watching.